The U.S. has the fastest growing prison population in the world. Well, it's like the real estate boom. Except, of course, the problem with real estate, you eventually run out of land. You never run out of people to put in prison. Call the fire department. <laughs> tell them that it's a fire department. Mike check. 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 Mike check.
one. CEO's your time has come. 99 against the one. CEO's your time has come. 99 against the one. Due to financial malpractice, criminal negligence, Do you want to go to jail? Listen, uh, protect the people, not the banks. 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 Who do you see? Protect the people. Can't block the job after you can't block the entrance to the business. They weren't blocking the entrance. They were blocking the door. You got three people right there in front of the door. They were letting people in the breezeway. We were letting right. people through. Everybody who wants to go in the bank has gone in the bank. I'm just telling you what you can do. Okay. okay. We don't have a problem, obviously, with you being here. So just don't block the sidewalk and don't get in the car. Right? You said somebody come through trying to go inside. He don't want to make it inside even because you guys are blocking it. When that happens, that's not good. Go no touch the door. That they are the police, not the fire department. That they are the police, not the fire department. And if we have a problem with it, and if we have a problem with it, we can call the fire department. We can call the fire department. Well, it's not up to Chase. It's not up to Chase. I'm in my home. 
I'm in battle. battle. And I'm not leaving. And I'm, I'm not leaving. Chase is corrupt. Chase is corrupt. corrupt. And should go bankrupt. And should, should go bankrupt. bankrupt. Before we allow. Before we allow. Even one more foreclosure. Even one more foreclosure. In Louisville. In Louisville. In No, 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 we don't even go that route. Please step away from the door. You, gentlemen, ladies, it's a nice day. Not a lady, or a gentleman. Nice <laughs> I'm a queer. Get prettier if I see it. Excuse me! Can you just push her? You have been evicted! 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 Don't you ever do that. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Shame! 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 Don't you ever do that. Police brutality or protester aggression. The protest and police response to it exploded into violence yesterday at Chase Bank in the Highlands. Protest and police response to it exploded into violence. It looks like a protester to me. I, I'm a protester. I don't know. Excuse me.
I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. You might hit somebody else. Pull him. They asked him to come in. They said come in. That's not consent to being arrested, though, if you just get asked to go inside. You might get arrested. Watch out. Yeah, they might swing at you on the way in there. Watch out. Or search you without a warrant. Did she break? Watch out, everybody! It might swing. Hey, this young lady here. We'd like. Hey, can, you, can we come in and talk with this place? I'd rather not. Okay, well. Can you stay out here and talk to me? No, we, no, we want to talk to you. That way we don't hear don't, the banging and everything. I don't feel comfortable with that. Well, can everyone feel. be quiet so that they can okay, talk? Okay, right, well, so we're going to have to go inside. Do Come on. No, you don't. Let's go inside. Do I? I don't have no, to go. No, you don't. And she needs a change. No, 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 no. What? Back up. You hit me. Back up. You hit me. Back up. I didn't do shit. I didn't do shit. You hit me. You hit me. You hit me. Back up. Get the fuck out of here! I didn't do anything! Take off! Take off! Shay! 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 Policia! Assassino! Policia! Assassino! Shay! Shay! Knocked around hard. She did not consent to being dragged in there. You can't just do that to someone without a reason, without a charge, without telling them that they're going to be detained first. He's bleeding. You shouldn't be out there attacking our dudes for doing nothing. Yeah. That's fun, dude. Yo, y'all attacking your engine. Yo, what, dude? I wasn't resisting. I was standing there and you dragged me in. He hit her once before for no good reason. <laughs> Sit down. Why do you have handcuffs on her? Excuse me, why do you have handcuffs on her? I tried to explain that you were having an anxiety attack. Of course I can make that. Fucker decided to fucking me. Don't, no, stop, stop cursing. No, don't talk to me, okay? You really do. You got violent for no reason. You dragged me in here and choked me. I wasn't even resisting and you started pulling me in here. There's no way that your practices can be legal. They're not fucking legal. Don't, don't curse. There's no reason to curse or get angry. They are, they are clearly in the wrong. This is a problem. If you guys cannot even handle a peaceful protest outside of a bank. Nobody needs for you to say anything. Why'd you hit him in the head? 
Stop telling my friends. No one wants to say why you hit him in the head, why he needs a band aid for his bleeding on his eyebrow. I have a job. I have two jobs. gonna know you can't hide it already inside oh, at that were. point like from getting the cops attention to being thrown to the ground to the inside of the doorway the entrance way and then being brought inside to the bank to sit and wait while they also did not tell me uh, didn't read me my rights didn't tell me why I was being detained if I was being detained if I was being arrested um, they didn't give me any information they wouldn't answer any questions and I basically had to sit there and wait and find out LMPD is not to be trusted. They're, they, I mean, if they're going to respond violently to a nonviolent protest um, and respond in the ways that they did, I don't feel like that I can trust LMPD. I don't feel safe when I see LMPD. I didn't before, and I definitely don't now. So, I, you know, I'm definitely going to mention that to my friends and make sure that they understand. Like, you know, they will, they, they will go to any length, regardless of who you are uh, and why, why, what you're doing, you know, or why you're there. Wonderful. Is it C O R E Y? C O R. And I decided that they could stand a little reinforcement, so I backed him up at the door and received a karate chop that released my grip on the door effectively. And uh, after a time, I uh, stood in front of the door. And uh, then I was selected as the first to be arrested, and some of the brethren reacted and one of them got hurt. How does it feel with you and four other people uh, getting getting arrested? I mean, for a peaceful protest. Uh, when we were grabbing the door, it was a little less than perfectly peaceful. Anything else you want Solidarity. Occupy. Thank you. 
How can I guess? This was this was a totally non-violent uh, protest, and uh, the the fact that that five people ended up getting arrested is is just uh, you know not the five people's fault. The, the, it could have been handled so much better, um, and I, and I'm sorry the police didn't. Uh, you know, in some cases, there was a guy who jumped on the back of an officer. I don't know. Well, I think it was already the time. By by that, the people were getting pushed around, and you'll get you'll get that the kind of thing. You kind of hope that the professional police will be a whole lot more uh, you know equipped to handle things like this than uh, and and to respond appropriately. Scott. And I'm Elizabeth Woolsey. Tonight, the last Occupy Louisville protester is out of jail after a weekend scuffle. Occupy Louisville member James Baum is out of jail. Uh, you all want to get a hug from Big Ten. He is the last of five protesters arrested this weekend to be released following a confrontation with police outside this Chase Bank. For some reason, something told me to just pick him up and turn him around. I turned him around into his own people and let him go. Video shows Baum restraining an officer. He says he was upset when officers began pulling female protesters. He suffered a cut to his eye and was one of two protesters charged with assaulting an officer. If you had to do it over again, would you have grabbed the cop? Uh, yes. But that's, that's just me speaking from, from me. Eric Montenegro says Baum was coming to his aid. I don't think we did anything wrong. I think that the blame lies entirely on the LMPD and the way that they handled the situation. Oh, we feel comfortable with the, the actions that the officer took in this. Public safety is the number one responsibility that I have for the city and the city has to its citizens. So uh, we will be very firm on the fact that we will have a safe city and that people's property rights need to be respected. Mayor Greg Fisher tells me he's concerned about the next chapter of Occupy Louisville. Clearly over the weekend, this was the first time where arrests have taken place and some civil disobedience, so we hope that this isn't the beginning of a more disruptive uh, period. And Occupy Louisville now has a protest planned on Wednesday night at the KFCM Center before the UofL basketball game. But will this prevent the movement from moving forward? Hell no. Hell no. No, 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 no. In fact, we've got one set up for Wednesday. System of America, the U.S. military, I said, see no, the FBI, CIA, ATF, ICE, Homeland Security, and the neighborhood police. They stole three fourths of Mexico in 1848, abducted Africans and then sold them as slaves. Genocide against the natives, and for that we give thanks. Wrote their history books and made themselves great. There's two types of crime, power and survival. Crimes that deal with power but the ones you might not find, dude. Look at the trillions that were stolen from the Wall Street bailout. And Mumia's still stuck in a jailhouse. They sick, they killed little Lyanna Jones. He was seven years old, man, the story gets old. Look at the wars, look at colonialism. Look at the trade agreements and the profits from their prisons. We know the aggressor. They train them in Georgia at the School of the Americas where they teach torture. My father's a survivor. He talks about it often. Thousands disappeared. No funeral but a coffin.